out exploring, doing a little day hiking today. You know, I love doing some day hiking and exploring, getting out, seeing what the world has to offer. And one of the things I love to do when I'm day hiking is drink coffee. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a coffee snob. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm a bit of a coffee snob. I, I love my coffee. And after you've been introduced and started drinking good coffee, good coffee methods, you never really want that convenience store coffee again. So when I'm on the trail, let's take a look at the two main ways you can do coffee while you're out and about and on the go. The first method is my jet boil. I use my jet boil for a lot of stuff, mainly to heat up water. And that's what we're gonna use it for today. We're gonna to use it to heat up water, but what comes with a lot of jet boils, or you can buy as an add-on, is the press. Beautiful device. Now, the first ones that came out didn't have this rubber gasket. Uh, they they it just wasn't very good at all. So you got a lot of cowboy coffee and you know a lot of grains now They have a nice gasket. It's a higher quality setup and you get some pretty good coffee out of this So we're going to use the press in the jet boil The second method is an AeroPress and so this this is more of like an espresso style coffee and uh, It's not too complicated you basically fill it with water, comes apart, fill it with water, put your coffee grains on, put your filter on, and then plunge it down and press your coffee into your cup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the coffee in these glass containers. Now I don't normally have these when I'm backpacking, but I brought them today so we could see what's going on. And I got some coffee caught dark roast coffee. Amazing coffee. Best coffee I've ever had by a long shot. The jet bowls are pretty simple and you can store all your parts inside. We're using one cup of water and we're gonna use two tablespoons of coffee that should be close to the golden ratio of 17 to 1 and uh, we're gonna have some water boil in here really fast that's what the jet boil does it brings water to a boil really fast water is done boiling take the jet boil off of there now we're gonna do two tablespoons of ground coffee I always ground my coffee right before I brew, and I, I did that right before I left the house. One, two. We're gonna let that sit for one minute, and then we'll go ahead and press it. Okay, so this part's simple. We just take the plunger, slide it in very slowly, and I do this with this whole thing full. No problem, you just kind of press it down slowly, just like you would with any French press. Now we'll go ahead and pour it into our cup. Now let's go ahead and get another cup of water boiling. And the great thing about the jet boil is it has a two cup mark. Some of the jet boils I think have even more marks, but you can kind of judge it pretty well with that mark. So this is gonna be the major difference between the two is you still have to boil the water. Now you can do that with a jet boil if you have a pot 
and then you can do it with a pot. You know, it just depends on your circumstances of where you are, where you're going, and what tools you want to take with you. I almost always take my jet boil. Now the AeroPress comes with filters, or you gotta buy the filters. You know, you wanna put a filter when you're using an AeroPress. The ones I got are just your basic filter, but it fits the AeroPress exactly. I like to soak the filter with a little, just a little bit of water. And now with the AeroPress, it comes with the plunger inside of it, and so you pull the plunger out almost to the, to the bottom. Okay, so we take the cap off of the AeroPress, and we're gonna stick our filter just inside of it. This is called the inverted method. So with the two pieces, you take the piece with the plunger and just barely get it started. Okay, now we're gonna turn it upside down, and the, the seal, the gasket, will hold the water. But first, we need to put our coffee in. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of coffee in. Now we're gonna pour our water in, just a little bit. And we're gonna let that bloom. What I mean by letting it bloom, is like pour over coffee. You just kinda of wanna get the coffee grounds moist, wet, and then what they'll do is they'll kind of swell up a little bit. And so that makes for the perfect extraction. I told you I was a little bit of a coffee snob. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. And give that a stir. And you wanna stir it for 30, 40 seconds or so. Now this is the brewing process. Now we're gonna put our cap on. Don't push down. All right, now this is the tricky part. Just, well, a little bit tricky. Because as soon as you turn this over, the coffee's going to start flowing. So let's see if we can do it without making a mess. There we go, not bad. And now we're gonna push the plunger down. Nice and slow. All the way down. So I've never actually really compared them side by side like this, so this is gonna be interesting. This is our jet boil press, and here's our aero press. First, let's see what they smell like. Just a nice, smooth, dark roast coffee. An aero press. Smells a little bit stronger. I think that's because I did the jet boil first and it's cooled off a little bit. Now the important part, let's taste it. I like my coffee, I, I like a little Splenda in it, but for the purposes of comparing these two, I just wanna keep it black, natural coffee. Oh man, that's good, real good. I love that coffee caught coffee. If you haven't had coffee caught, you really need to go on Amazon and get yourself some coffee caught dark roast. Thank me later. That's good. Man, I love coffee. All right, let's try the AeroPress. Just, there's a little more fruitiness coming through. Now I think that may be because it's, it's a little warmer. Definitely a little more flavor in the AeroPress, but not like an espresso versa black coffee. You know, it, they're very similar. Just a little more fruity aromas and flavors coming through. Uh, the, the Jet Boil Press, it's a little more intense, just a little bit. When I say intense, I'm talking about that roastiness, that, you know, that coffee flavor. Fruitiness, little more roastiness, uh, both incredibly smooth, which is what that coffee caught is. It's an incredibly smooth coffee. Okay, so, which do I prefer? 
it's simple. I like the AeroPress because you get, you know, a little more of uh, the flavors of the coffee. It's definitely for the coffee snobs. It's it's gonna give you the tones, the notes, the you know the the what the coffee's made of is going to come through more with the AeroPress. But you get a great coffee with the press and the jet boil. And the big difference is you don't need any other pieces of equipment. It all packs right inside here. If you're doing the AeroPress, you need to be able to have a method to heat your water as well. So you gotta have a pot, you gotta have something, a jet boil. And for that reason, I just don't use the AeroPress that much. I, it's, it's, an, it's an extra piece of gear that I have to pack and clean and handle and deal with and it doesn't produce coffee that's good enough to warrant taking the gear. My opinion, you may have a different one. Let me know down in the comments what you think. At the end of the day, you know what most people do on backpacking and camping trips, well I say most, the ones that I see on YouTube is they're using instant coffee. That's some nasty stuff, man. Instant coffee is, you know, I've, I've bought every kind you can imagine. And uh, instant coffee is, I, I, can, I don't even think you can call that coffee. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what you call that. It's, it's not good though. You know, I like to be able to enjoy the coffee. You know, I don't drink coffee for the caffeine, uh, although I like the caffeine. I drink coffee for the flavor, for the experience, for the atmosphere of it, for the smell, you know. I, I love everything coffee. And I get everything I want from coffee, from this jet boil on that press. Since they redid the plunger, this guy. When they redid this, it was a game changer. Before this, it was just a little plastic piece that kind of you know, slid down a little bit, but you got a lot of cowboy coffee. I mean, especially the bottom, you know, of the cup, it was just gritty and not my thing. If you like cowboy coffee, you'd like that plunger, but this plunger is perfect. It gets almost all the grains out of the coffee and brings through that nice coffee flavor. So for me, I'm going jet boil. You may have a different idea. And like I said, every circumstance is different. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna finish my coffee, get back on the trail, do a little more day hiking and exploring. Guys, I appreciate you sticking around with me today and checking out my comparison of these two coffee methods. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you do me a favor, share the video with your family, your friends, on your social media wall. It'll help me grow my channel, reach more people, and hopefully inspire them. I hope you guys have an awesome week. Get out on the trails, do some exploring and drink some coffee. I'll see you guys next time.